Hey, what's up, and why pre my charges? This month's Timber Animated back with another episode of Pokemon First Journey. And if you're here, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and uh, let's jump in, in it. In the last episode, we went around, we battled Athena, Agatha, and John, and we also did some extermination of the legendary Pokemon, which are not legendary yet, but the extermination is going to make them legendary which were Moltres, Articuno, Zapdos, and uh, I think we opened some gyms and stuff. We created TMs and so on and so on. So today we have some more missions we need to take care of. So I'm going to run through them as fast as possible. So it says create new types, remove abilities, natures, and EVs. Visit Island 2 and his history and culture update. Hopefully those are the last things. Congratulations on your work, Professor. Alright, so not that dude. Thank you, Professor. Not that dude. And I think this dude gave us the one. You don't need to do anything yourself, Professor. It will take me a while. I'm done here. Let's go. Okay. Poke Center has been built. Oh, yeah, we built a Pokemon Center last episode as well. Nicely done. Alright, so I guess these three are the ones that we need to talk to. No, this one says reprogram Pokemon's moves. So I guess not that, not that one. The fisherman on Route 16 should give you a rod. Where could it be? It seems like it'd be in isolated spots in the south. Alright, so pro Professor, you are here for the Culture Vision program, right? Indeed. Great, I was told you must visit Pewter. Pewter? Yes, we have repurposed an old barn into a museum. Very interesting. This should make, a, make my job easier. Yes, Professor. Please go to the Pewter Museum. Okay. So we're, I'm gonna go that I guess that's one mission. I don't know how to start the other ones. But before I do that, let's go and see if I can get that rod. That fishing rod. To get the Dratini. Even though I don't think I'm gonna try to catch the Dratini, but here goes. Um there's a fisherman. Fisherman, fisherman, where is he? Fisherman, fisherman. I need V, I guess. Uh, I guess it's this guy. No. Finally, the governor responded. At least there's a couple of fish ferrymen around now. It says fisherman in Route 16. go 13 so this is not route 16 <laughs> I don't know oh shit all right a horsey bye bye horsey nine tails Okay, so, um, Route 15, ah, oh, I forgot I didn't, alright, let's just get there. Okay, we got the fishing rod from this guy. So this is Route 16, I just don't know where the freaking routes are, bro. This is, Route 16 is just to the west of Celadon. Alright, so we need to get to Pewter now. Alright, the museum should be up here, right? Yep, this is it. It's a lot smaller than I thought it would have been. Ah, Sir Samuel, I was told you'd come. I'm waiting for your directions. Certainly. Here's the details. Okay, and then the history books. You can see it, yes? It will take only... It will only... What? It will take only take a couple generations? It will take only a couple of generations maximum. While philosophy and biology are especially important, it is history that should be presented in a manner suitable for, well, the current age. I see. So about folklore. Folklore in particular should incorporate the creatures. Do you follow? Okay, so Oak and the Unova are arc orchestrating everything, falsifying everything. 
in this Pokemon world, in this Pokemon universe. Hmm, adapting creatures into local myths would make it appear as if they have always lived alongside us. Exactly. Existing regional material is more than enough for such purposes. I understand. Another operative, Argonaut, has enacted a similar project in Johto, as, as has Cynthia in Sinnoh. Ah, that explains a lot. Cynthia is not this old, bro. Cynthia is not as... Because Oak is a young man here. And when Oak is an old man, Cynthia is still a young woman or a middle-aged woman. So how come Cynthia exists right now? Okay, whatever. It's a different universe. So old friend, you did your part in Johto. And who is Cynthia? An operative around your age. Ah, uh, you see? You see? It says around his age and he Oak is way older than Cynthia in the official Pokemon. Oh, she's received a commendation commendation for her ac academic work ancientus ancientus legends whatever fabricating an origin story adapted to nomadic and tribal cultures of northeastern nations ah i have heard of that paper she has decided to settle in Sinnoh and raise a family i see oh she raises a family okay so the other cynthia might be a uh, second generation cynthia Third generation, Cynthia, who knows? Anyway, my directives have been handed over to you. Now the rest should fall on your shoulders. Okay, thank you, Professor. Mission completed. Safe travels, Curator. Alright, safe travels. We're just fabricating everything, bro. Hey, bro. We're doing construction work here, bro. Okay, so... Do I go back to Saffron? Or what? Okay, so, um... We're visiting the lab in freaking Saffron. I should probably speak to Sakura first. Okay. It, we're visiting the lab in the Hamlet, Pallet Town. Hmm. So you finally come. Welcome, Samuel. Mother, Sakura, my greetings. I was under the impression that our arrangement required you to marry my daughter first. She has she has been waiting so long for you to finish your errands. Yet you went ahead and constructed your lab anyway? I would like to ask for your forgiveness. My assistants made a scheduling error. But, Mother, why did you not notify me? I was honestly unaware that construction had been commenced. Is that so? Mm. I digress. If it wasn't for Sakura's fondness, fondness for you, I would, I would be furious. Thank you, Mother. She's been serving food and drinks to the workers and even did some construction work herself. They had it finished in no time. Amazing. This is the... This is the part where I am supposed to exhibit interest in her well-being, right? Um, I hope she has gotten... She hasn't gotten hurt. Are you alright, Sakura? Thank you. I'm fine. So, he, he can show... He can fake interest in Sakura, but he couldn't fake it in... Freaking Agatha. I mean, well, he has something to gain from Sakura, nothing to gain from Agatha, so... I'm used to manual labor since I've had to take care of, my, of mother on, on my own. I think you've been through a lot. Let me make a call. Make a, a call? What is that? I want two aides in my lab in Hamlet right now. Double time, or they won't be seeing their salaries anytime soon. Yes, Professor. Pardon me. Two of my assistants will be arriving shortly. They will do all the house chores for you from now on. Moreover, forget farming and foraging. You will now have access to a weekly supply of fresh food and water. You won't have to lift a finger anymore. Thank you so much. Sakura has overexerted herself. My own strength has been letting me down lately. Again, I ask for your forgiveness. It was never my intention to proceed with a construction without your, your explicit permission. It is alright. You look like someone who will take good care of my daughter. Even though your heart is suffering, isn't it? Hmm? No, my cardiologist said it, it was fine. Oh wait, that metaphorical stuff again. Times are hard. A woman like Sakura and someone like you are both looking for a place in the world. 
On one hand, you might not be able to fully offer her the emotional support any spouse would need. On the other, it would be really hard for someone like Sakura to find a husband, especially one as educated and well off as you. Wait a minute. The way she talks about her daughter, could Sakura be of ill health? I forgot this part of the world is stuck in the old ways. The value of a spouse is judged based on wealth and dowry, education and health. I am very grateful, future husband. I'm very grateful, future husband. N no, no need to be grateful for anything. It is I who should be very grateful. Now, please excuse me. I would love to stay. Alas, I have, I have yet to finish my errands. I will be back as soon as everything has been taken care of. We will be waiting. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, uh um, goodbye. Alright, cool. So now we're done with that. We visit the lab. Okay, auto walk in. Ah, how elegant. Titanium reinforced walls, spacious enough for equipment, comfy and cozy. A throne on that specific part of the earth. What? A throne on that specific part of the earth's body where I was. where I once was a beggar. Okay, everything looks good. Let's go. Really? Just like that? Basic equipment. Uh, this is a cutting edge monitor connecting to the landline they just installed. I don't have to use it for right now, but I do have an idea I might carry out I might carry out later. Okay. Alright, so we visited the lab. We visited the lady there. The future wife, so let's check and see where we should go next. Um, I'll unfinished tasks, completed missions on a computer downstairs, so I still need to go. I don't know how to accept the missions though. League information three ongoing, create new types. Um, I think I will create new types to make things more exciting. I should use the taxonomy machine on the top right corner of the room okay so it tells you what to use top right corner is this it please input type specifications let's see a fairy type would be suitable for this nation's folklore profile however what fairy type wasn't in gen 1 though now the dark type usually reserved for underground pokemon that live in scarce light conditions it should be renamed to evil type in this nation's language really Done. And that fighting type, huh? Okay, as a sign of goodwill towards Mr. Watson, I will proceed to add that one too. Good. Input accepted. Generating seed. Beyond seed spread. <laughs> okay. Approximate time until adaptations have formed. One year. Returning to standby. That's it. Let's go. Okay, so we've done that one. Which one? Oh, I should just press on the machine. I don't need to come and read this thing. Remove abilities, natures. I don't think the first generations of trainers will be able to handle these. I should interact with the attribute machine. Okay, so that's a replication machine. I guess this is the attribute machine. Please input attributes. All right. I don't think the first few generations would be smart enough to realize the entire arsenal it would just be too much for them so undo commit number two number 2415 number 2311 number 5123 input accepted removing abilities natures and effort values generating seed wiring seed spread approximate time until ad adaptation and ge genetic inheritance comments four years Returning to standby. Good, that is all. Okay then. And where do I go to do this one? I can handle I can't handle these thoughts anymore. I should pay pay Island to a visit. I have to talk to the sailor in Vermilion. Okay, so I should have known that. Uh, so let's head to Vermilion Satai. Uh Vermilion. Vermilion Sata. 
Vermilion Seta. There's the sailor. My name is Samuel Oak. Ah, yes, sir. I was told to bring you to Island 2. Yes, please. Please follow me. Here we are, sir. Hmm. Okay. Yes, we run. Oh, that's a lot of grass, bro. This place is overgrown. But anyway, I have the. Oh, and that, that shit is broken down to a shed. So. Island 2 has been overgrown by. Oh, okay, and the, the buildings have rotted out. So, John and everyone moved away. And the place become, became deserted and run down. Papa, Papa, tell me about the stars. The stars. Why would little Sam want to know about the stars? Because I will be a star one day. Why a star and not something else? Because, because, because they are so high up and they are so bright and they look superior to everything else in nature. Haha, <laughs> yeah, stars are beautiful indeed, but superior stars that shine the brightest go out the fastest. And some fall down from the sky and onto the earth. But we are not like stars because we always fall and we always get up. Stars can't really get up or go any higher. They always end up falling. Oh, that is kind of sad. But like I said, we humans can always get up after a fall, unlike stars. Though, just like stars, the higher we are, the hardest we fall. I want to be the tallest, most distant star one day. And I will never fall because I'm invincible. Invincible by ass? Oh, damn. Oh, it's John. Oh, hey, Johnny. Hi, Pa. I mean, Mr. Jeremy. Sounds like Sammy here has been daydreaming again. A star? Ew, gross. How weak. Boo. You are weak. No, you. You want me to recite that zoology book again? Ugh. Mr. Jeremy, why does your son insist on punching under the belt? Ah, come on, you two. Who wants some cookies? Me. Not him. Not he. Ah, here we go again. Okay. All right, here's the old dude. He came to pay respects. What an honorable thing to do, especially for someone so young. I come here every day. I think it's the least I can do. I hope they find peace. That scent, the scent of wood burning. Does it ever go away, sir? Ah. I'm afraid not. Th thank you for coming back. I'm sorry. We should have protected you. But we were all cowards, the entire village. I haven't slept since ever again. Me neither. Will you forgive us? No. Then what should I do? You? Nothing. Just hope your own, own offspring won't have to suffer the same. Hope really, really deeply. I'm sorry. I'm done here. I don't want to see this place ever again. Mission complete. Okay. Okay, so I, I can't read the sign. So Island 2 is run down. Okay, this is Island 2. This is not where the game started. This is Island 4 is where we started. I guess Island 2 is going to be eventually developed. So this is where he lived originally, he and Johnny. And then they moved to Island 4, I guess. Ready to leave, sir? Yes. Then we're leaving. Now I have no absolutely no idea where to go. Let's go back to Saffron. Professor, you have completed all of your current tasks. And with your lab up and running, What's left is to go see the new league's location with your own eyes. You have informed us that your desired location is the plateau on Mount Silver called Indigo Plateau. Is that correct? Yes. We would like to ask you to place a flag of conquest at the exact spot so that we may begin building. 
Ah, it looks like that other flag you guys have placed. I see. Got it. Thank you. Indigo Plateau, Plateau is located west of Viridian City. Starting from there, go west to Route 22, then up to Route 23. Goodbye. Alright, so I need to fly to Veri Veridion up on my Harley. And go. I still didn't find the hidden village. Is, is it possible for us to actually find it? Hold on, let me check. Let's, let's go through there first. No, the way is still blocked. So I can't get to that cave either way. So, let's go. Oh, this le led to um the route there for Mount Silver, right? Tojo Fields, yeah. And Tojo Fields has decrepit buildings just as Island 2. Alright, so, um, Indigo Plateau, is this the last thing that we have to do? I don't know. And then we can finally start Red's Journey West. I have no business in Johto, at least for now. Okay, besides, it's under Kurt's jurisdiction. Kurt the Pokeball Maker. Okay. I don't even know what Pokemon appear here, because ever since I got that Repel thing, I've just been using it. Oh, but then again, we don't really need any new Pokemon right now, so it doesn't even matter. All that matters is I just play through the rest of the story. Ew, there's a copper. How do I pass here, though? How do I get through this place with the rocks? Oh, here's here's some grass. This is where we um, go to Mount Silver, right? Could this be the passage they used? We won't make it in make it on our own. Oh, a civilian. Oh, a tamer. You got lost? If you are looking for the indigo hiking trail, it's north of here. Don't count on us to save your sorry ass if the wild creatures here beat you to a pulp though. Okay. Alright, so let's just get up there to mail to Indigo Plateau, 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 Plateau. Alright, I guess we're there. Indigo hiking trail end, viewpoint ahead. Up off the Harley Oak. Let's do it. Ah. Oh, and Pan, how scenic. So this is where I'm supposed to put up that the flag of conquest. Done. Okay, that's it. Pretty anticlimactic though. Anyway, let's head back down, I guess. Professor, we have begun constructing the Indigo League building. I would recommend you take this moment to finish any errands you might have left. The League will be finished very soon, I assume? Indeed, Professor. There's a couple of things I need to take care of ASAP. I am sending my notes to my computer. The time has come. Okay, we have more missions. It's not done yet. Please check your computer. Oh, speaking of your computer, it has been making weird noises lately. Ah, uh, alright. I'll look into it. Thank you. So... Okay, email, huh? A new email from someone, anonymous, behind the proxy. Let's see. It's been a while, my friend. Come meet me in Viridian. You know where. I don't really trust whomever, whomever, whomever this is. But I will add the email contents to my mission list just in case. This is a secure network and no one here has access to the internet. Something's off. Email details transferred to mission list. Okay. So five missions. Project Encyclopedia. An idea regarding a Pokemon encyclopedia has just dawned on me. I should visit my lab in Pallet. So we need to go to Pallet, give John the failsafe code. We're running out of time. Once the league has been built, there's no turning back. I have to talk to John right now. So Pallet Viridian. Introduce the field of Pokemonology. I have to visit Celadon University in order to establish Pokemon Pokemonology as a legitimate field 
I should talk to the Dean. Okay. Record Sakura's voice key. We're running out of time. Sakura should be able to hide when it all hits the fan. I must talk to her. So, Palette, Palette, Viridian, Celadon, and Viridian. Alright, so let's go to Viridian. I mean, Celadon, and then to Palette. Okay. Samuel, congratulations on your progress. Thank you, Dean. I'm here for my field introduction thesis. Please take a closer look. As you may already know, research standards as well as acceptable statistical and methodolog methodological approaches are relative in each field. While the general scientific method remains the same, it is necessary for separate standards of acceptable me methodology of inquiry to exist. If we can claim an what? epistemological basis, you gotta sound out the words guys, epistemological basis, valid safe knowledge instead of a purely ontological one, simple axiomatic positions and use the excuse of unfalsibility, we should be allowed to have our own criteria for what justifies as legi legitimate knowledge within our own field. Okay, so he's just making everything up as he goes, bro. It's just all false. A Pokemonology field can have a legitimate epistemology basis, epistemological basis, whatever. Moreover, there are legal considerations for the establishment of such a field. Would it really be wise for people whose careers or expertise depend or expertise that depend on Pokemon to operate outside the academy. One shouldn't consider themselves a lawyer without earning a valid degree first or passing the bar exam, even more so in medical and par paramedical fields. The scope of depth and quality of knowledge as it pertains to Pokemon means that one must have gone through an official channel first before they are allowed to know anything about Pokemon. Do you see where I'm going with this? And this, Dean, concludes my introduction thesis. Excellent, Samuel. There is no way the board will be able to turn this down. If the board were to decline your proposal, they'd have to deal with the international scientific community. Peer reviewing, although necessary, may also function as a peer as peer pressure if utilized well. Thank you, Dean. Now please excuse me. Goodbye, Professor. Goodbye. Mission complete. Alright, so we need to get to Palette. Let's talk to Sakura. Sakura, future husband. You look worried. Can I help you? Would you like something to drink? Ah, uh, another time. Can you please read this for me? I do not know how to read. Oh, apologies. Then please say after me. Grant Hatch Access. Grant Hatch Access. Thank you. Okay, I got it on tape. On tape? So, uh, I uh, have information regarding a certain event that will happen very, very soon. Yeah, the war. If the same war I was referencing that they mentioned in Pokemon Team Rocket Edition. You, could, you, should, you guys should play that if you haven't played it as well. I would suggest you play this, then play that. Even though I don't think they were created by the same people. But it gives an interesting idea. I think the stories kind of, kind of are kind of similar. I think the lore, the lores in both games are kind of similar to the point where you think where you could probably put them together and make one full story. You know what I mean? Know what I mean? Anyway. If you hear anything that sounds like a gigantic monster roaring or feel like the earth shaking, please run to my lab immediately. Run all the way till you've got Run all the way till you've hit the northmost wall. Then say those words aloud. Say those words as loud as and clear as you can. Is this one of those experiments you've been talking about? Something like that. It's a hatch leading to a secret bunker 
say the words and it'll open see even the secret bunker is in the lab just like in team rocket edition wow is something like that possible it is if anything happens please get to the hatch get to safety there's enough supplies there to last you and your mother months but then what about you me don't worry about me i will be safe and back to back to get you from the shelter once everything is settled this sounds a bit scare scary please do not be alarmed huh wait where's your mother she went to route 23 route 23 yes don't you remember she hails from one of the two major tribes living in the jungle ah yeah what did you call them again aka and midori right your surname is green so you're a midori yes so what is what is she doing there visiting relatives or something 23 is really dangerous i'm not sure perhaps she wanted to reminisce about the past to be honest with you i'm afraid i remember a big number of soldiers scouting scouting the area for months oh that's right she has a very hot, tough life she has a very tough life and i'm sure that future husband is aware of what has happened in the past with Sinnoh's tribes the same thing is currently happening with us these people they disgust me what they did to john's tribe abhorrent are you okay future husband oh excuse me i'll look for your mother as soon as i'm done with my errands thank you so much husband i mean future husband don't mention it anyway i have to go i have to get over with my chores and then seek out your mother please be safe you too time to go all right so now we need to go to the lab i don't remember what i'm supposed to do in here but uh here we are the encyclopedia project what should i call it what should i call it a pokemon index so a pokedex for short interesting what should it entail the new generation taking notes by themselves yes every younger generation is usually a bit smarter than the previous one so it should be a kind of notebook but the digital age is upon us which means that by the early 2000s it should be an electronic encyclopedia rather than a notebook so entries i guess i'd leave the entries to their imagination combined with the folklore tales and the interwoven mythology the other operatives have been spreading all over the nation their imagination will only make every revision and addition even more hilariously hyperbolic but once it becomes electronic i mean they can jolt down notes all they want word of mouth is really good when it comes to rumors ah what if entries are registered upon seeing or catching a pokemon yes yes that would lead that would lead them to believe said discoveries have been made by themselves a database ascribing fictional characteristics to pokemon so the feeling of a mystery and wonder can be exploited registering the entries upon seeing a pokemon despite the fact that such entries must already exist in the code to be displayed in the first place obviously this could become huge ah that's it i've sent the idea over to univa in all likelihood they already have taxonomical databases but i think it's of vital importance for certain myths to suggest that pokedexes have been around for centuries it is a technic it is technically correct however considering count tajarin made the first encyclopedia back in the 18th century hmm. time to go all right so now we go to viridian all right so these episodes always take me longer than I expect because each time you finish a set of missions and you and I think it's gonna be done, I think that's the end of the game, then we get more. And now it's turned into less of a battling Pokemon battling game and just a freaking drama of me going around talking to people and doing shit. Sam, what's up? Uh um hello John. Um it won't really matter in the end. Huh? Uh, Sam, you okay? T two. Two? Two zero zero zero. Two zero zero dash zero zero one dash zero zero four override self destruct. What exactly is this? 
every gym leader gets a code like this, spread it around. When the time comes, read it out loud. The league is charitable and the world is burning, John. Soon, smaller events will escalate into something total. When the time comes, you'll need to defend yourself and your home. Huh, Sam? What is the what is all of this what is this all of a sudden? N nothing. Oh, I gotta go now. Mission complete. Alright, so we did two. Alright, we have another one here. We did Celadon, both in pallet and so now we need one more. And it's in Viridian here. Is that the person we're supposed to talk to? Or should we go into this house over here, which we couldn't go before? Hmm, no one in here. Then again, we are never amused by anything. Is that right, old friend? Come find me in Route 5. You know where to look. Who is this? Come find me in Route 5. No, okay, I, I didn't... I pressed it on accident, so I missed the... the first part of the reading, the thing it read, so... Whatever. So, Route 5, huh? So first it says, come to Viridian, and then it says, come to Route 5. Okay, on Route 5. Oh, should we go into the building? Should we go into the building? Since it said, on Route 5. Yellow, yeah, I, I can bet this is Kurt. Okay, another book, so we're going on a wild goose chase. Are you really that oblivious to your own actions? Do you really believe? Oh, it's not Kurt. I can bet it's um, Fuji. Do you really believe that Western and Eastern nations alike have no counterintelligence? How far you, how far do you think your antics will get you? Come find me in Route Four, Pewter Side of Mount Moon. As always, you know where to look. What? What the hell, bro? Stop sending me on a fucking wild goose chase. I have to make it all the way to Mount Moon. So I guess we go in here. Another friggin' book. I expected that. I definitely expected that. People deserve to know the truth. But you don't even consider them people. Is that right, old friend? Come find me in Route 25. You know where I am. Aw, oh, come on, man. Atrocious. How could they know this much? Alright, so in here, I guess... There's a route behind there. There's a door. Just think about the consequences of your actions. What you are doing right now. You will never give your people peace that way. You are no more human than those deem inferior. Go through the door. I mean, yeah, because he's trying to start... He's manipulating a whole country and trying to start, like, wars and shit. New animal phenomena. Uh, the rest is torn. Okay, so let's go through the freaking door. Northern Kanto Cliffs. Why is there a ship here? This is crazy. What in the world? The authorities haven't done anything to remove this? It's a hazard. Alright, here's a sign. Celine, if you read this, please wait me wait for me here. I guess we surf. Well can I go that way? So, um, well, I tried that and it worked. Well, I think I thought that would have been a, um, one of the herbs. Now to figure out where I should be going. I'm just trying to go as much north as possible because hopefully that's it. Huh? What's this? If you see any of my messages, please stay in one place. I run my routes daily. Okay, I guess that's some rescue thing. Okay, so I can't go any further north there. I can't go to the east. Can't go any further east there. If I go back down here, I could go this way.
A careless captain. This is no place for a ship, stupid man. Okay. I'm kind of puzzled as what is going on. As to what's going on right now. And I'm puzzled while trying to solve a freaking water puzzle. Alright, so we can't make it through any of these areas. So I guess I need to back track. If I go back south, can I go this way? No. Go that way. Right, yep, I'm back where the ship is, so let's go this way then. I can't go through here. There's nothing there for me to go through. Can we do that little thing we did? It actually works. Okay, but now we're surfing on land. <laughs> and we couldn't surf through the the rocks anyway, so... Alright, we can't go that way. It's crazy. Yo, I, to think, I, would, I thought the game would have ended like three episodes ago, bro. And we still have Red's Journey West, which is the second half of the game to play. The epilogue of the game is so long. I didn't think it would be this. I didn't know it would be this long. Okay, another sign. It's been almost a year. I don't know how much longer I can hold out. There was a way to go south there, but let's go north first. Alright, let's go back to the west. Go through here. Uh, can't go any further north. Nor any further west. Was I supposed to go inside the ship or something? Because this freaking surfing is just leading me to dead ends. There was... What did I get here, by the way? I think we went... I came from down there. Alright, we can go up from there, but let's go back. Huh? You can't go any further that way? There's a little piece of sand thing there. Where is this? Where is that? I don't think I've been to that section before. There's a sign there, so that definitely means we can get there some way, somehow. Unless the creators of the game put it there to troll? No, you can't go through there. Can't go through there. Can't go through here. Um. Okay. I am. Oh yeah, I can serve from here and get to a different section. Why wasn't I thinking of that? It's not actually a different section, it's the same section I was in before. Ah, uh, crazy. Alright, let's go this way. Alright, we're going a lot. We're going further west than we've been before. Northmost contour. Can hell, bro. There's another sign. Can you not see the lighthouse? Please come back to me. Okay, so I guess we go southwest. Yep, and there's a kin lighthouse. It's been more than a month, and you are nowhere to be found. Hold on, hold on, oh. Oh, it's that dude. It's that guy. It's not neither of the persons that I thought it was. Hold on. 
Celine, please forgive me. I couldn't find you, but I haven't lost all hope yet. I hate the sea. I want to live as far away from the sea as possible. If you ever read this, I will be in Viridian. Oh, we can't go up there. A Pikachu. Oh, shit. It's battling me. If I knew it was going to do that, then I would have saved. Uh, it's level 20, so I can't hit it. And I don't have... Um, Oh, actually, we got it. <laughs> we got it. No nicknames. But a strong Pikachu for a level 20. I will hold on to it. I mean, I will eventually settle down. Won't I? It will make for a fine gift. A Pokemon like this should be reserved for someone special like my son or grandson. Perhaps if I knew more about the history of this place. Anyway, let's go. Yeah, we'll go to Viridian and find whoever left that letter for Celine. Did he say Viridian or Vermilion? It's Viridian. Alright, so let's go to the professor that we saw over here, but first... Nothing? Celine, my love, this cruise was meant for you. I can't look at the ship anymore. I hope you'll find me. The sunset is as beautiful as you today. The sunset. Alright, hopefully this is the last freaking task in this game, bro, because it keeps dragging out. Welcome, Samuel. Fuji, you traitor. It is Fuji. Why does he look like that other freaking um, scientist in Diamond and Pearl? I don't remember his name right now. Have you reconsidered? Of course not. I see. Then do you know why I've brought you here? Oh, no. I've just made a grave mistake, haven't I? Indeed. It's over, Sam. I should have known. Go ahead, try. All of your Pokeballs have been locked shut. Pokemon cannot be sent out. Gil! I knew you'd come, and even though you yourself knew it was a trap, it was guilt that brought you here, wasn't it? I followed you around as much as I could. Childhood memories, old friends, little campfire stories, heartbreak, funny tamer business, dowry agreements you'd call marriage, suppressing opposition, setting up big corpo, I tried undoing all the damage you've caused, but you are always ahead of the game. Only it weren't for your watchdog tribal friend. It's irony of the highest degree, a man whose ancestors suffered greatly protecting someone who is going to cause unprecedented suffering. Don't you even dare mention John, you demented fiend. I am not. I am not telling you the nation's leaders haven't gotten their hands dirty of course they have but your actions won't simply affect them they will affect everyone not on me it just so happened that there's only a few nations left that haven't been touched by the lights yet like this one Aristia is such a pitiful woman your little cult is far bigger than I expected the history you and yours have it's filled with hatred. Okay then, at least I can do something to mitigate the damage you've caused. Was Agatha right? Have I lived an unexamined life? Perhaps, but I will never ever forgive these people, ever. Can you swim, Samuel? Yes. Based on my calculations, I only need one hour to destroy Indigo Plateau's equipment. Huh? Oh shit, he pushed Sam over. Arr, arr, bro, hear me, chase Fuji down. Bro, arr. Okay, some dude came and saved Sam and then ran off. 
That was close. Was it Argonaut? Argonaut, did you get my message? Wow, so reckless of you. Don't worry. I got you out of the water just in time. I then proceeded to chase after Fuji. I got him. I have destroyed his jammer. But, uh, I have a problem. He's no threat to the operation now, but he simply is undefeatable in a normal battle. I have lost to him, and now I'm out of the game. The rest is up to you. Find him. Phew. Thank you. I'm taking over. Goodbye. <sighs> to pursue or not to pursue him. He's one of the brightest minds. Without him, there's no cloning, no mutations, no nothing. But my desire to face him one-on-one -on -one in a proper battle has been rekindled. If I decide to go after him, I have to first get my lab and pallet, get to my lab and pallet and make an important call from the machine. Let's go. Alright, so we need to go back to pallet town. Professor, someone has been waiting for you outside. He seemed rather nervous. I see. I'll go see him right away, thank you. No, I won't. I'm trying to go to pallet town, but I just came here to use the fly, the freaking Pidgey, because it was closer than going, it's easier to get back to Saffron than going through freaking Mount Moon. Professor Oak, may I have a moment? I'm with the government. Please do not be alarmed. I'm with the modernists. Please go on. The government wishes, wishes to thank you for your invaluable assistance with building the nation's infrastructure and economy. And for everything pertaining to it, this new creature phenomenon, you have aided our efforts greatly. Honestly, there is practically no way we could express our gratitude. I'm honored beyond words. However, we have a request. Interference from traditionalists? I don't care about your politics. Besides, we have people in both parties and it is called controlled opposition. What? what? No, no, Professor. It's just the government has been trying to locate a tribe that has been hiding in the mountains of Route 23 for years. This tribe has apparently completely mastered Pokemon taming. They aren't even using whips. How interesting, a primitive culture capable of taming Pokemon. Could that tribe be? We managed to meet some, some of them, but they simply destroyed us. Even those of us who had received strong Pokemon from the League. Oh, what species were they using? I'm sorry, Professor, but I don't know. I see. You said it was tribal people. You've been, you've been up to no good, huh? You know, just how well acquainted with our um, preservation efforts are you? We are an island nation under the constant threat of nat natural disasters, Professor. We've always been... These circumstances demand cohesion. Working as a single mind and harmony isn't that understandable? Very. We need your help. Still, please, Professor. Actually, I have to go to Route 23 anyway. I hope Sakura's mother is okay. Wait, what? What was that thought just now? I accept. Thank you, Professor. Our benefactors couldn't have chosen a better man than you. You truly are legendary. You don't need to be that... Um, psychophantic, whatever. It is the truth. I will be waiting for you. your return. Good luck. Bro. They just keep tossing more and more task at me when I finally think that we're at the last one. Ah, let's go to the hamlet. Go in here. So this is another long episode, another hour long episode. After I just posted two hour long episodes. Let's see. I'm listening, Pioneer. I need the override for the Pokeball locking system right now. I'm afraid we cannot provide you with one, Pioneer. This is an emergency failsafe. It, would, it wouldn't be allowed even if you had highest clearance. Not to mention, an override wasn't built in in the first place. Aristia, listen to me. My cover is blown and the entire operation is up in the air. Is this what you want? Everything HQ strived for, gone? Are you reporting total mission failure? I am. I am. I freaking am. 
Oh, this is serious then. You thought I was joking? Please get a hold of yourself. I'm reporting this up the hierarchy. Stay on the line. I'm back. Please modify your Pokeballs as detailed. Now use the locking frequency should... Now use the locking frequency. Should open. Is it working? Yes, it is. Thank you. I'm deeply disappointed in you, Sam. Oh, you dropped the f formalities now? Or universe number one mind? You can be pretty careless sometimes. Stop projecting, you neophyte. Now get back on track. Everyone here has been wondering how the heck you've messed up. I haven't. I will see everything to the end. You'd better. Over and out. Great, she bought it. A way to bas bypass the force lock Pokeball mechanism, right? So it might jeopardize our absolute control capabilities, but for me, to battle Fuji is definitely worth it. Let's go. Alright, so should I... Yeah, let's just go and take him on. Freaking Fuji. I don't even know where he is, though. He's at Indigo Plateau, right? Okay, so now the question is, do I save... Do I go battle Fuji first, or do I save... Go to Route 23? I mean... The Elder's Village. Let's go to the village. I have no business in Johto. Okay, so that's not where the village is. Maybe it's where up where the cop, the police guy was. Let's get there as fast as possible. All right, so Mount Silver seems like this is the place. I assume I'm getting close to the culmination of my work here. Before I go, I should make sure I haven't left any business unfinished. Also, with how close I am to materializing this. Should I spend further effort on confronting Fuji? Is it worth pursuing him first, or should I bring an end to this right now? Okay, alright, let's take down Fuji then. I'm gonna save. Let's take down Fuji, I guess doing the tribe thing should be the last. Workers are in the process of constructing the league building. I shouldn't bother. So where the hell is Fuji? Alright, so there's Grandma over there. Oh, where's Fuji? I thought Fuji would be up here. This is where you said he was going, right? Well, now I don't know where the hell he is. So where did Argonaut catch him? Okay, so I think he's somewhere on Cinnabar Island here. This is the gym, so I don't think this is where he is. Most likely then he's at the Cinnabar Volcano or he's in Seafoam Islands. Oh friggin' here he is. Cinnabar Volcano. I knew I'd find you here. Looks like you have disarmed Argonaut's party. But he got he got you first, didn't he? I'm afraid yes. I did everything I could. Perhaps it was fate, Samuel. Fate does not exist. I agree for once. But who knows why everything went down how it did? You will proceed with your plans. And I with mine. Fuji, I will not report you. I can't bring myself to do that. After everything we've been through together, I don't want one of the brightest minds of the 20th century receiving unbefitting treatment. Samuel, we are not students anymore. I might have helped you assimilate or acclimate to Univa's intellectual cream of the crop, and you have elevated my biological knowledge to a new height. It was a hard time. In that sense, we are like brothers, or were, what I don't care about. Pompous exhibition of mercy. Care about your pompous exhibition of mercy. I will not rest until I have rewritten Pokemon's genetic code. Enjoy your empire while it lasts. Fuji, you are brilliant, but you can't antagonize Universe's top minds alone. As it stands, you are just another very good chemical engineer and geneticist. Perhaps the best, but not the only one. Before I let you go, give me a good battle. I want revenge for all that swimming business. Not to mention, it's been ages since we last did this. No codes. 
You think I'd let you do that within my device's radius? Your Pokeballs won't work. You forgot your previous embarrassment already? I've found a way around your little device. Oh, really? Fine. But first, let me ask you. How much do you value Pokemon? Hmm, little. I see. It's such a shame you turned her down. She could have saved you from the abyssal rock-bottom depths you've hit. Agatha? She... She's just someone who cannot think with her head. On the contrary, I can. Poor Sam. Pride comes before the fall. But you can still turn back. No. Kanto has, a, has to pay. The West has to pay too. It's just not the right time. Stubborn animal. Prepare yourself and come at me. Well, I guess... Good luck. Alright. 72. Gosh. Damn. Luckily, we had freaking close combat. And it's just a Smeargle. A Smeargle. Dragonite. Freaking, freaking, freak, freak. Alright, let's go with Lapras. I did get the fishing rod to catch the Dratini, but I don't know where to find the Dratini. Arcane, cool. Oh shit, you're confused. We didn't do as much damage as I thought, Draco Meteor. Really? Really, really, really? Dragon Dance. We missed the ice Oh, Come on! Don't miss again. That was close, that was close. Moxie. We got a level 2. Did he get more rear candies? I don't remember. Alright, he has a Snorlax. Let's see if another close comeback can work on this thing. Oh, almost. Defense and special defense. Oh, Yawn. Cool. We're gonna fall asleep, but sure, sure. No problem, no problem. Oh shit, I didn't check I didn't check that. Okay. I actually pressed it off. I don't know what's coming out next. A freaking another Dragonite. Let's go with Horn Attack. Oh shit, that did nothing. Alright, alright, alright. Um, Max Potion. Oh, okay, Gyarados is at full health. Um, 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 um. Work up. Plus one. Let's do some chip at least. Oh, that plus one actually made me do a lot more damage. Now, Gyarados, I just need you to survive and land one attack, but you didn't survive one bit. And I have absolutely no revives. Really, Earthquake, bro? Okay, I guess we're gonna lose. There's nothing I can do. We're, we're just gonna go down. Alright, we lost. Alright, we get we get to we get a do-over though, we get a do-over. Alright, so first, let's go with Gyarados first this time. Oh shit, I accidentally st started the battle I didn't want. To start the battle yet. I didn't want to start the battle as yet, but anyway. If we get a plus a moxie, so we get a plus one. He sends out Come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, yep. Yeah. Dragonite. And if we don't miss... Well, we got taken out with a freaking Draco Meteor. Did they set up spikes? Extreme speed. Hurricane, hurricane miss. That's good, that's good. So we get a chance to heal. 
About to send out Snorlax. We're gonna close combat. Still. Oh, come on, bro. Giga Impact. I really need some more levels. Why did I think I had a I have a, I had a fighting type move on this freaking Electivire, but I didn't. And I press Gruel. But send out Dragonite. Okay, so I just sent you out here so I can heal Lapras. You're gonna go down. Oh, you survive. Too bad I don't have any revives. If I did, I could use them. No shit. Anyway, he's faster, so he's gonna knock us out. We're gonna go out. Spikes. Hopefully, we survive at least one. Yo, he goes for Ice Punch. Oh yes! Oh, high roll. I don't know if that was a crit because I was button mashing, but that was lucky. Jolteon. Just come on, come on, come on, come on. And we go horn attack, thunderbolt. Shit! Yo, that thunderbolt almost took us out with one shot. Yo, why does this Jolteon hit that hard? Baby doll eyes, really? Keeps doing baby doll eyes to drop my physical attack, right? But I'm using Thunderbolt, which is, which is a special. Dugong, let's just go. Still going with Thunderbolt. Sheer Cold, it missed. Oh, almost! Blizzard, oh, we survived it. Thank you. We, 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 we won, we won, we won! Hmm. Hmm. For all your contempt for them, Kentonians here surely have made you stronger. Or was it John in particular that kept you sharp? As I said, do not even dare mutter his name. You still have some humanity in you left. You do have friends, very good people too. You might have rejected the one person that could bring you back, but it's never too late. I ask that you reconsider what you are doing here until the very last moment. Goodbye, Samuel. Our physical paths may never cross again, but our scientific paths will definitely will. I hope you get to live a long life. You will need it so that you will have enough time to repent. You are not as intelligent as you think, Samuel. You gave me the one thing I needed, the Pokeball Lock Override. Younger generations, I did this for you. Bring the fight to them. Farewell. Mission complete. All right, all right. So, let's go to Route 23. Heading to where Granny was, and hopefully this is the last mission I have to do in this, the last objective we have in this part of the game. I really just want to get to the Red's Journey West part now. But every time that I think this Oaks part is done, it gets extended by an additional mission. I saw Granny somewhere here. Where, where, where the hell did she go? She was somewhere over here. Here she is. Samuel, you're here. Mother, why did you come out here? Please stop the soldiers. You are a powerful man. I... What kind of predicament is this? The government and the League asking me to pacify them. Sakura's mother asking me to help them. No, I must finish what I came here for. Won't you help them? 
I will do my best. Thank you. He just lied. Did he just lie to Branny? Were we supposed to surf there? Nope. Alright, so we're in this freaking village. I have no idea where to go. Well, there's only one way to go because we can't go up in the tree houses, so. This is it. You, you monsters! We should have eradicated you when we had the chance. You you are that professor, right? The government has informed us of your arrival. Finally, backup has arrived. We got pinned down here. Please eliminate these savages. Just get up. Just get out of the way. I I already am. You. How did you manage to control these Pokemon? You, man, like Midori's, we offer you. Huh? You man like Midori's we offer. I guess they can't speak English. It's a monster. Okay, it's a Charizard. Okay, okay. 68. They're actually lower level than... I need to take off the repel thing and see if I can get a Charmander in Cinnabar Volcano. And I know where to get Ivysaur slash Bulbasaur, which is Viridian Forest, and Squirtle is in um, Seafoam Islands. Alright, so Charizard, bye! Electivire leveled up too. I'm gonna use Sal Rhyperior. Bye bye! Gyarados wasn't able to take down a Charizard with one one hit off the freaking hy Hydro Cannon. Lapras is doing way better. But I will still have to switch out and um, heal another Charizard. Alright, you. You can tank some fire hits. And I can max potion Lapras. Slash. Outrage. One. Two. Three. And we're gonna get confused. That first game, the level. There's a Blastoise coming out. Let's go with Exec. Oh shit, Executor is my lowest level Pokemon. I should have went with freaking Electivire. Oh, oh shit, we hit the Leaf Storm, but it didn't take it down. For a higher level, maybe. The Hydro Pump did a lot of damage. KKK, okay, okay, okay. Taro Screw. And a Venusaur. Venusaur when my fire type is actually <laughs> freaking almost dead. Work up! Get a plus one. Solar beam. Took in sunlight. Work up. Oh shit, that's not what I wanted to do, actually. Alright, plus two. Horn attack. Okay. Plus two horn attack does half damage. Electivire wants to learn electric terrain, nah. Tribal, okay, cool. How oh, fascinating. You can control powerful... You can control powerful monsters with such ease. They, I think they missed the word monsters there. I see. Your wilder instincts may have helped you in that regard. Professor, thank you. We can finally proceed with their preservation program. I... I guess it won't matter in the end anyway. There's no point in helping them now since, well, then I should be on my... What the hell is this? Sam, you're here. I've been looking for you all over. This is the Akoka territory. It's very dangerous. Wait, what is this? The government and these tribes? This was supposed to be a classified operation, Professor. Who is this man? A colleague of mine. It's all right. But wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Sam, what is this? 
please play along and let's not get on the bad side of the government. I haven't been working so hard just to have suspicions raised against me in the last minute. No, Sam. What is this? What are these troops doing? Why are the tribals rounded up like this? John, I'm leaving. Don't screw this up. Soldier, can you please tell me what this what is going on? I came here looking for the professor because I figured he'd be in danger all alone. But instead, I have stumbled upon something very peculiar. I'm a free citizen of this country. Please explain. They don't need to explain it to you. The government won't answer to anyone. Are these Sinoians? Are these Sinoians? Answer me. Are these Sinoian tribes? John, tax, whatever, whatever, whatever. They say the same thing. No, these are Cantonian tribes. And yet you treat them like you did with us? These are your people. What is going on? Okay, so John is from Sino. You dare defy the mandate of the government? Wait a minute. Us? And you are, you are tall and burly? Are you the disgusting tribal from the north? Shut up. What if I am? What matters here is that you're following through with that silly program of yours. Program? So you know too? Did the professor tell you? S Sam, what does he mean? You knew about this and yet you did nothing? John, it is as you say. These people aren't Sinoians. But fear not, for the native tribes of Sino are safe. The government is just recruiting them for what's about to come. You, you, just how much does someone like you know? You're just an academic, a foreigner academic. The tribes you see before you are native Cantonians, but they are remnants of the older culture of this nation. One not as romantic and glorious as you would like today's citizens to believe. The state here has been following a plan to harmonize the nation. Thus, thus the past and the remodern sorry, thus the past had to be romanticized. The preservation program, what you see happening before you, entails preserving a specific culture they wish to pr propagate. All the negatives of this nation's past are being erased for the sake of unity. That er that erasure includes the re-education of these tribals. You've got, you've got to be kidding me. Look, I don't want to be a part of this. I've helped your incompetent troops deal with the creatures. I've done what you asked. I'm leaving. What should I do? I can't just stand here and watch the troops burn down the, their homes. What will become of them? That is none of your business, but they won't be treated harshly. They will just be incorporated into the national body. Look, just get out of here. It seems your professor friend is quite in intimate with the uppermost echelons of the government. I'm afraid he is my superior in that sense. I will just pretend we've never met. Sam, it's just like back then. You remember, don't you? These people, they will be forced to go through the, the same process we went through. Is there really a difference now that it's them and not us? Answer me, Sam. Just what happened to you? You'd never have stood for something like this. Uh, I'm sorry, John. I can empathize, but I can't let this become an obstacle to our cause. We have to work with the government in order to usher into this new age of progress. I'm sorry. As I said, I don't want anything to do with this. I will just leave. Hmm? What is Sam doing? Is he talking to the metallic box? Samuel, this tribe is in possession of the ore. Let the government do their job. Change of plans. Sergeant, you need to get you need to get this over with quickly, right? In this instant, I'm helping you. What? Sam, are you out of your mind? What happened? Sorry, John. It is vital that we raise this village to the ground. Okay, this is really bad, really, really bad. Still, I owe John. I must find a way to get them out of this. Sergeant, please make sure not to harm the tribals. And I mean it. This is an order from the higher-ups too. Fine. Alright, let's get this done with.
No, Sam, no. These people, it's their home. No one should ever have to go through all this. You should know that. You should know that better than anyone. Please, John, get it together. Be reasonable. It has to be done. Just what is your role here, Sam? I thought you wanted to build a brighter future, not force an entire tribe out of their homeland. Please, John, you don't even know what's at stake here. Please. No, I'm sorry, but I'm not having any of this. You are, you are not you. You've become a hollow shell of the Samuel I remember, cold, calculative, heartless. You are not Sam. Please, step away, John. Look, I understand the grander scheme of things. But what good is your grander scheme of things when you're unable to help those suffering right in front of you? Hypocrite. Come at me. I don't care about your little tricks. My resolve is greater than yours. I'm not letting you do this. I'm sorry, but if it makes you... Makes your delirium stop, then so be it. Okay. This is the longest episode I've ever fucking did, bro. Because the fucking game just won't end. Okay, so it's an auto battle. Tamer John send out right period. Sam, this is juvenile attitude of yours is quite silly. All right, right here is Greg neutralize something, something. He's using codes to take him out in one hit. This is futile, John. You know it. The ally Nidu King use poison jack. Blah blah blah. Neutralize. Tamer John sent out Nido Queen. That horn drill you're preparing won't work. Sorry. Horn drill not affected. Neutralize something, something. Sent out Kangaskhan. Stop this, John. It's no, not going no, nowhere. It's not going anywhere, you should have said. Neutralized. Dog Trio. I'm sorry, John. No, Tamer John has no more Pokemon that can fight. Tamer John lost against childhood friend Sam. Ugh. Are you satisfied now, John? What you did just now, Sam, there's something you've been hiding from me all along, isn't there? You can control them any way you like. Just what is going on here? Why are you doing this? The future is set in stone. We need to elevate ourselves. You are blind. For all of for all your education, knowledge, and intelligence, you are just blind, egotistical, and bitter with the word with the world itself. All that talk of progress, poverty, technology is just a front for something else, right? Or do you and your acquaintances really believe you are doing the world some kind of service? You would, you would never understand. The knowledge we are offering the world, we are its emancipators. We. Who exactly are you? With all due respect, but it's not for the un uninitiated. Sergeant, let's get this over with. As I said, don't hurt them. Hmm, all right. I'm taking them with me. I don't care. I'm taking these people with me to Viridian. I have enough money to find them a new place to live. Sam, please. They have nowhere to go, nobody to turn to. When the government took Pa away and we were forced to escape, when you and I lost everything we had, when they hunted your mother down for being a traitor to the nation because she fell in love with a foreigner, how did it feel then, Sam? You want these families to go through the same? Okay. Dang it, John. Go take them wherever you want. I'll make sure the government won't re-educate them. But under one condition, the next generation will have to be fully assimilated into the culture. Thank you, Sam. I'll make sure they all get to go to school. I'll pay or everything they'll need it myself. I'll pay for everything they need myself. Of course you will. Thanks to the new society we introduced back in Kalos more than 300 years ago, there's infinite freedom and possibilities. This is our gift to humanity. Yes, as I, as if freedom didn't exist beforehand, just how egotistical could you people be? Doesn't matter. I'm taking them with me, and I'm going back to the gym. What? This... This insolent northern tribal was allowed to become a gym leader? Don't question my choices, Sergeant. Goodbye, Sam. Whatever it is that you will be doing next, don't forget us. Don't forget that you have a heart. 
Okay? Everyone, you can understand me even a little. Okay, some of them turn to kimono girl. Okay. Even a little. Me can little speak yours. Excuse me. Please follow me. These men won't hurt you. I'm giving you a gift, a new home, but we must run away from here first. Do you see what I say? Yes, big man, I see words. We follow. Man of wooden hair, big, big, great, can tame monsters. Village is now. What isn't his? What isn't his anymore? Okay, whatever. Big man, stop. What? My chief. Name of family, Akar. Be guilty of many past. My family wants you, teacher. Please teach family how to defend with monsters like yours. I will devote gift to you. Hmm. I know where I'm buying. I know where I'm buying you a home. Pallet. So that man is constantly being reminded of the repercussions of his actions and his own misery. I see, not what you say. You will have house next to next to wood here, wood here, man. He is strongest of all. Your family see his teachings and become strongest of all. Family thanks. Guilt will erase that way in future. Family will repay you for good. Guilt? Who can really say they've never done anything wrong? A week later, I'm here. This is it. You are about to reach the conclusion of the main game. Due to the length of the final cutscenes, it is recommended that you take a break. You will be prom prompted to save between certain cutscenes if you need an intermission. If you wish to play the alternate ending community mod mode by PJ Raiders, please make a backup before you save. Okay, so save. And I'm gonna end this episode here. An hour an hour plus and uh, basically this uh, bro took way longer than i expected and the game is still not done and it just said we have very very long cutscenes coming up so if you made it this far please leave a like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace